Hey guys, a long time no filming for me, both regular beauty videos as well as vlogs. I vlogged a teensy tiny bit this morning. I hope this lighting is okay. I feel like I look really pale. Mm, anyway, so I want to do a everything I bought this summer from June to like August. And then I went through and I gathered everything and it's a lot. So I'm gonna split it off. I'm gonna do Saks and Nordstrom stuff that I've picked up. My hands look really big or my head is shrinking. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna split off Saks and Nordstrom into one haul. All the other kind of websites I bought from. I don't go into store. I never, I can honestly say outside of the drugstore, I buy everything online. I like might swatch and play, but I go online because you get better samples, there's cash back, there's often way better deals online, and I mean, I'm just, I'm like online retail person for life now, unless they come up with a better platform. Oh, I think they did, it's called your phone, which is way worse, because then you can shop at any time. And then I wanna do like a Kiko Topshop haul for you guys, just kind of like a mid-range cosmetics haul, as well as a drugstore diaries, so I have four videos I'm trying to film today. We will see if that happens. Excuse my <laughs> my roots. Oh, and that white little fuzzy thing. Okay, uh, I could not find my L'Oreal Feria V48 that I love so much. It's so hard to find, and so I used some of my Garnier BR2 up here. I didn't really do a very good job of covering those, so. Let's just pretend that that's like a highlight. Okay, so let's start off. I feel like I now look kind of salmon-y colored. Maybe the sun shifted. I really hope the lighting works out for this. Okay, we're gonna start off with Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue, yeah. I did one, two, three purchases from Saks over the course of the summer. The first time I had a 10% off code and cash back. Saks uh, cash back has been really good. I think it's on Oh, I can't remember. I think it's on Mr. Rebates where it was like 12% cash back, which is really good. So the first haul I did was just a couple foundations. I picked up the Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation. I picked up the shade Natural. I would say if you're around NC3035, this is like an ideal color for you. I picked it up with the sole purpose of like having this be like my main summer foundation. Ooh. Because um, I typically don't like buying two shades of foundation just to have like a match for summer or whatever. So I just usually will buy one foundation. I think last summer I used the L'Oreal Visible Blur foundation as kind of like my summer foundation because I just got it in a darker shade. That's actually the way to go. If you're gonna do like two different foundations, maybe you'd go drugstore. Or at least if you live in a place like I do where summer is only like three to four months tops and even that whole time you might not have a tan. So I picked this up. You can see I've used a good amount of it. I wanna say I've gone through a little more, or a little under half the bottle. This is a really great foundation. It's fairly long lasting. I just thought like, your skin just looks really beautiful. You can build it up for more coverage. I don't think it's necessarily full coverage. Um, I feel like the term full coverage is very difficult to determine sometimes because to me, full coverage means that you don't need concealer. Uh, so I don't know that this is that. Also, I feel like concealer under the eyes or putting foundation under your eyes is not like a really great alternative to concealer. So I usually run my foundation not more than like in this area because I feel like it just it doesn't look good. So I really enjoy this. This was SPF 15. However, I don't find that like this necessarily flashes back in photos or anything or even like when there's a lot of light. I don't find that like my face doesn't match my body. So I really like this foundation also. I mean... I am such a sucker for Tom Ford. I would say that I'm someone that's not a sucker for packaging. I'm not like brand loyal, but I really love me some Tom Ford stuff. Oh, this is fantastic. So that's that. And again, I had the shade Natural, which is number five. I believe I could probably do number four also. It just kind of bronze up my face for summer. But you know, it's a possibility I look into this. I think this retails for is it 80 or maybe more? And I got it for, well, 72, but then I had some cash back, so maybe it knocked out some tax and stuff, but I really enjoy this foundation. This video is gonna be so long, we're already at five minutes. Condensed. This is the Gucci Face Lustrous Glow Foundation. This has an SPF of 25. I've only used this a couple times. I got shade 060. You do get an ounce. This is a glass bottle. The Tom Ford is uh, like a frosted plastic. This one is not, and it feels very luxe. You can probably see like, can you see like the logo? Ooh, are we? 
there we go so that's got like a logoed cap frosted glass really beautiful foundation i can't tell you too much about it i will probably veer more into this again winter time but i feel like it'll be good for winter from what i can tell not that it was like falling off of my face i used this at the beginning of the summer for maybe a week and i liked it so we will come back to this maybe it'll be in favorites later on in the year the second haul i did with Saks, it was a 50 dollars off a 250 purchase for beauty items and at this time i know for sure that it was like 12 percent cash back which was super awesome so the first thing i grabbed was the nars what is this called it's a nars velvet shadow stick in sukotai is it Sukotai? I think so. Now, these things have been out for a while. I feel like maybe this color was specially released, maybe for the summertime, maybe earlier. I'm not sure. This is one of those, like, a... Eh. Oh, God, why was that so ugly? This is going to be really hard. Any blog post that I've looked at, it's been very difficult to see the color. It's kind of like those duochrome shades a little bit. When you get it on there, it's kind of like a navy teal, and then if you blend it out, you get kind of like a burgundy purple. It's really beautiful. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember what these retail for. Is it like 26 or 28? But I got mine for 2103. If you are on Gilt or Groupon, I feel like I saw the same shade on Gilt or Groupon for like maybe 20 bucks, maybe 17.99, something like that. I will link. I don't know if you're not on Groupon or Living Social, then I don't know what kind of rock you're living under, but uh, I will link that below as well as Gilt. Uh, all the flash sale sites that I shop from that I link below are the ones that I shop from. I'm not going to link like my habit. They have a lot of stuff on there. It's like, you know, Amazon related or it's owned by Amazon, whatever. Mine's never linked below because I just don't particularly like their return policy. So only flash sale sites that I truly shop from often are listed down below. So I picked this up. I do like this a lot. It's just kind of like a great smoky base color. The next item I picked up in this haul is Tom Ford New Dip. Now, New Dip was like, when it first released, was it a year or two ago? Everyone was obsessed with it. It was so hard to come by. People were paying crazy amounts of money for it. You know, I don't know. I'm not one of those people that will go onto eBay or Amazon and buy, like, pay a lot of money for products that, you know, that were like people were obsessed with. I'm just... It's not what I do. This is Tom Ford Nude Dip. Oh, see, now that's why. Do you see that pop out? Two of the shadows popped out on me. And I have tried so hard to like, I feel like Saks does not have a free, re free return shipping. You have to call them, blah, blah, blah. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But I went to the Saks close to me, which is still the closest one to me is still 40 minutes away. They don't have a full on Tom Ford counter. So she's like, well, I can't return it for you she's like but you can't open up an account i don't know why i don't have a sex account but i should well i do now and uh because then you can return free return shipping i think with a card but the colors here are really beautiful i paid how much i'm only telling you prices because i got a good deal on it and i know that this thing retails for like 79 or 80 bucks and i paid 59 for it which is really great uh let me get all these swatches for you. So there's Tom Ford Nude Dip. I don't think this is a must-have eyeshadow quad. They're all slight shimmers. And they're kind of, you know, these I think are kind of neutral. This is kind of cool. I think a lot of people would enjoy it. The formula is really great. But I don't find that this is like a necessary purchase. I like having it. I thoroughly enjoy most Tom Ford stuff. I rarely, I can't even remember the last time. Oh, the one thing that disappointed me was the double-ended eyeliner pen. And not because it was bad, it's just that for me it was just too liquidy. I like to work with a formula that is not as wet, and that one was quite... I almost found it difficult to make like a proper winged liner. So I feel like my... Everything looks really light today, like my eyes, my hair, my skin. Even though I'm probably... I want to say maybe I'm like an NC30 right now. You know, up from like an NC25. Anyway, I also picked up NARS... Is it... I think it's Pacife. Right, LJ, right, Pacife, and it's the duo chromey one. They had the other one, what was, was it Tiesto or Testo, or I might completely be making this up, but this is the shade right here, duo chromey beautifulness. Now, I know a lot of people come out with duo chrome shades. This one is truly unique. It's not one of those like brown to burgundy ones. It's like a green, oh, I hope this is going to pick up. It's like a green with a flash of purple burgundy. 
super super interesting and probably looks super beautiful over sugo tai which let's just let me go right over oh yeah okay see so those two used together this is like the far oh, there's a far swatch right here that is pacifé over the sugo tai sugo tai velvet shadow stick oh my god look how horrible my knuckles look i ha i hate my hands i have dark knuckles i have super super like lined you guys are not even getting the full effect of how lined my hands are. Like my mom, growing up, my mom was always like, your life is going to be complicated. And I don't know, I guess it is, but that's that. And the last item, oh, how much? I got Pacifé for $21.79, which is really good. The last thing I picked up was the Chanel Le Beige's, or Le Beige powder in number two. I think number one and number two are limited edition for this summer. Is it gonna, okay, so this is what number two looks like. It's coming across a little cooler on this camera, but it is much warmer. I have the Le Beige number 50 powder, and I really like that. And this is maybe like a step down from it with a little more of like a bronzy, like rosy effect. So let's see if it's gonna focus for you guys. Yeah, there we go. So that's number two. Uh, and the third haul I did from Saks this summer, it was just a 20% off code. So that was pretty awesome. Plus 12% cash back, super awesome deal. So the first thing I picked up was this Chanel cream blush. I've never tried, I don't have any Chanel powder blushes. And this is my first kind of cream blush outside of maybe like a stick that I had purchased. This is in Cheeky. I mean, I've obviously already used it again. I like doing hauls. I know it's bad, like sometimes it's like you want to go out shopping and you get a box or whatever, you get a bag and you want to do the haul immediately. I just don't like doing that. I love doing hauls a couple weeks in after having it. So that is this blush shade. It's like a dusty mauve color, but it's warm. Um, and like I said, I think I told you the, the shade is called Cheeky. Beautiful. I love this. I can't wait. I think for fall it'll be extra beautiful. The next item I picked up is another Tom Ford item. Uh, so that, I was able to get that Chanel blush for 30 bucks. Pretty good, 20% off. And then I got the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating, Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in Mood Light, which is this duo highlight that everyone's been super obsessed with. It's been all over YouTube, all over the blogs. I mean, everyone is obsessed with it. At first, I thought I wouldn't like this because the highlight is quite light. I usually go for a uh, fairly warm, glowy highlight, but both of these colors are so beautiful. They're, they're right here. This is the lighter one, and this is kind of like that blushy bronze color. I feel like it's getting really washed out in this lighting, but they're both so beautiful. But they, uh, they also do appear much lighter. Um, on your skin than they do in the palette. I feel like a lot of times this might have been a kind of difficult for a lot of bloggers to photograph, I feel, because uh, it's really hard to kind of pick up the dimension uh, as well as kind of like the embossed texture on it without kind of taking away from, you know, the, the beauty of it. I think this is picking up fairly, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I want to say reasonable. It's picking up fairly true to color here. So there's that. So pick that up for like 64 or something. I think it was 80, which is ridiculous. Um, then I picked up a door, door. The next thing I picked up was this Dior fluid stick and this is in the shade 219. This is called Whisper Beige. I haven't tried any of these Dior fluid sticks yet. These are fantastic. I love this. There's, it's right here, Whisper Beige. It goes on the lips really easily. It glides on, uh, I don't know how, if there's anything bad I can say about it. They kind of remind me of the L'Oreal ones uh, that are kind of shaped like this. And I think I prefer this formula to the L'Oreal one, but still really, really nice. The next thing I picked up was the La Mer powder. This is in translucent. I haven't really actively been using this yet because, I don't know, just hello, I mean, we've been vlog, uh, hauling a lot of stuff. I picked this up because Norvina, if you guys follow her on Instagram, she's Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, she pretty much creates all the makeup and she's uh, Anastasia's daughter. She was mentioning two of her favorite powders. I think this was one, this was one of them and I can't remember the other. Um, I'm trying to get it to focus a little, not that you need to really, you know, see this jar, but at least you can get a good idea. Oh my god, do not look at the nails. The nails are so ratchet right now. They need to be done. But I haven't tried this a lot yet, but when I have used it, I really like it. It's fairly undetectable on the skin, and that is kind of something I've been kind of looking for. 
uh, because I've been really obsessed with using my hourglass ambient powders for you know setting my makeup because it really does look really flawless today I have something different on which I've been super obsessed with and I'm going to highly recommend to you um, Oh, it's the next product. Okay, perfect. This is a YSL powder. It's the Matte Finish and Blur. It doesn't add coverage. It's completely white. I have used this so much. There used to be like a YSL logo embossed on there. It is no longer there. And I use this with a MAC. It's the new brush from the Oat Dogs collection. It's like a fluffy brush. They were on Macy's for $22 instead of $42 one day. I picked up two of them because I knew I would love it so much. And I use that. I like buff it all the way into this compact and I buff it all over my face and that's what I have on my skin today. So if you kind of, it doesn't add any coverage, it doesn't really add any color, but it really, really makes your skin beautiful. So I am super recommending. I would say out of everything I picked up in this haul, let's see, I would super, super highly recommend this. Out of everything I've talked about here, if you're interested in anything, get this. This is the best thing I picked up in this haul, uh, at least from Saks. So now we're going to do the Nordstrom part of it. I probably did maybe a couple orders from Nordstrom over the course of this summer. The first thing I picked up was the limited edition kind of bronzy highlight color. It's in, it's called Lumiere de Thé. Oh gosh, anyway, uh, super beautiful. I very rarely pick up the Chanel limited edition items and I always feel like after the fact I wish I had and so let me give you a good swatch of this one here is that uh, limited edition Lumiere color it has just a slight sheen it's very sophisticated and looks really beautiful depending on your skin tone as a blush or a bronzer some of these items you might have seen in my vlogs, if you watch the vlogs. This next one is the Chanel Le Beige Powder number 50. I had originally picked up like 60 or 70, I think 70, and that was just way too dark. I don't know why I thought that. I was like, oh, it'll be a great contour shade. No, no one, you gotta get it right. Just Plus, I feel like I'm kind of, am I over contouring? I feel like I was into contouring for like a few months, and then now I'm back to like just enjoying having like a healthy looking skin. Like today I didn't contour at all. I just have like bronzer on, and I just feel like this kind of look is just so much more flattering it's much more feminine and it just looks kind of it makes your skin look better too i feel like when you contour yes it does bring out certain areas of your face or like you know whatever it receives certain areas of your face but i feel like that overall kind of glowy bronzy look is prettier than contouring anyway so that is like the limited edition chanel one i just showed you and this is number 50. it's it's just slightly cooler, but I feel like I can also use it as an all-around bronzer and it doesn't look like too cool tone. Like it doesn't look muddy, you know what I mean? Uh, this thing you guys have probably already seen if you watch the vlogs. I'm for sure like positive you've seen it. It's the Pink Glow from Tom Ford. I'm not going to dwell too much on this one because you can't get it anymore, but this is what it looks like. If you want like swatches and stuff, definitely go onto the internets, but this is beautiful. I did not purchase the one from last year, which had like that really beautiful blue shadow. And I'm kind of glad I didn't get it because I don't know that I would get that much use out of it, but I thoroughly enjoy like pinks, not pinks, but more like a warm kind of burgundy peachy color as well as purples because my eyes are kind of like a hazily color. So I like shades like this a lot. From Lancome, I haven't been really into like Lancome a lot. I really enjoy like their quince, the eyeshadow quince. And they come out with these single shadows a while ago, but now they have these things. They're called like the dazzling shadows. And these are very similar to not quite the Illusion de Ombres, like way softer than that. This is number 303, Soiree Parisienne. I think this might've been a limited edition color. Um, but it's super smoky and beautiful and has a lot of dimension for such a dark shade. I love using this kind of after I've kind of done most of my makeup or my eye makeup, I'll go through and I'll like smudge it through the upper lash line and smudge it through the lower lash line and I find that that looks really beautiful. So I really like this. I think this was around 20 because they were doing price matching and Nordstrom was doing price matching. This is the Lancome Belle de, Belle de Tante, uh powders it's their healthy glow powders but this one's in the shade belle de nuit which is beautiful night i think again did not take french this is what this looks like love this one i use this a lot when i first got it and if you watch my again my vlogs that i haven't uploaded in a while but i did vlog a little this morning and we're gonna see if we can continue it through this week and then kind of through labor day weekend and stuff 
Uh, so that is number A, Belle de Nuit. I really, really love this color a lot. You can see how beautiful all these shades are. Whew. Then we have this Chanel Cream Blush Stick, and this is number 20. It's also in the Le Beige line. Smells beautiful. It's kind of more of like a bronzy shade. I'm like trying so hard to like see how low on my arm I can go for you guys. Uh, there is the blush shade right there. Super, super beautiful. Charlotte Tilbury came out with some limited edition stuff this summer. This is from, I picked up from Nordstrom. And it is the Dreamy Glow Highlighter Illuminating Youth Powder. This color, if you are super into highlighting, like, or even strobing, I guess that's the new big thing this summer. Um, I don't particularly find that I like strobing a lot. I think it would look good on, like, people who have, like, smaller faces or more narrow faces. Like, I don't, I guess maybe I could do it, but... You still need that depth. I think that bronzer and maybe a little bit of contour if you're gonna full on strobe. But then I guess, then you're just contouring and highlighting. Ignore me, I don't know what I'm talking about. But this highlighter is super pretty. This is what the shade looks like. It's kind of like a light pinky color. I'm really, really, I'm really curious about that Tom Ford powder, that the new pink one that everyone's obsessed with. This is a very soft, almost satiny highlight. Did I show it to you? That's that's what the highlight looks like up close. And here's a swatch of it right here. Yeah. I'm trying like to not have it focus on my face. I had also picked up some of the Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadows. I picked up two shades. And while I like them, I find that I like the Tom Ford more and I didn't feel the need to keep the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Like, I found that Tom Ford was buildable on me. And the Charlotte Tilbury ones, I felt like I would put a layer on and then it would just, I'd try to put another layer on and it didn't really work out that well. Now, I know that there's been kind of mixed reviews for those. A lot of people were really in love with the Charlotte Tilbury and may even like them more than the Tom Ford. I am not in that boat, I return them. Uh, but I do have these two things that, uh, I don't know when I picked these up from the website, but I have Hepburn Honey Lipstick. I already have, I think it's called Penelope Pink, which I really love. Where can I swatch this? I have, so can I give you a close-up? This is what Hepburn Honey looks like. It's like a So Me color. The nudes I like are generally peachy or apricot or brown. That's just what I like. And then I picked up Iconic Nude as a lip liner, which is what I have on today. I have Iconic Nude lip liner uh, on the lips today. So right here is a swatch of, are we going to get it to focus? This is Hepburn Honey, and that's Iconic Nude. These two, obviously, for me, make a really beautiful, perfect nude lip. Today I have maybe like three different things on. Um, so next I'm going to try and film the other hauls I talked about at the beginning of the video. I can see that I'm at 28 minutes. Hopefully this wasn't that long. Hopefully you found it enjoyable. I really hope my lighting maintained itself and that my swatches were good enough for you guys. I always want to make sure like you can see stuff you know? So until the next video, take care and I will talk to you guys really soon.